I'm going to install Windows 2000 Advanced Server in a VMware Virtual Machine. So the first thing you want to do is open up Safari. You want to go to winworldpc.com. Go to the library. Go to Windows 2000. And then scroll down so you see all the downloads. Then we're going to click on the Windows 2000 Advanced Server with Service Pack 4 Retail. And we're going to go ahead and click on that. And then download it from either server. And then once that finishes downloading, we'll start the install. Okay, now our download is finished. So we're going to go ahead and close out of Safari and quit Safari. And we're going to open up VMware Fusion. Then we're going to go ahead and click on Create a Custom Virtual Machine. Click Continue. We're going to click on Microsoft Windows. Choose the Windows 2000 Advanced Server. Click Continue. And we're going to create a new virtual disk. Click Continue. And then we're going to customize the settings. I'm going to go ahead and call it Windows 2000 Advanced Server and click Save. Then once we're in the settings, we're going to go to the processor and memory. I like to give it a little bit more processor. I'm going to give it two cores. And I'm going to bump this up to 1024 megabytes, which is one gigabyte of RAM. Then I'm going to go back to show all settings. And I'm going to go back to the CD DVD drive. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a disk image. And I'm going to select the Windows 2000 Advanced Server SP4 ISO. Now I'm going to go back to the settings one more time and I'm going to change the hard disk to be a little bit larger. So I'm going to make it 100 gigabytes. You can make it as small or large as you'd like and then I'm going to click apply. Then go ahead and close the settings and go ahead and start the virtual machine. Now you want to click inside the virtual machine. Now we're going to press enter to start installing Windows 2000 Advanced Server. On your Mac computer, you want to press Function and F8, depending on which Mac you have. Sometimes you can just press the F8 and it'll work. Here we're going to go ahead and install it on the unpartitioned space. So go ahead and press enter. And go ahead and let it format it as NTFS file system. At this point, you can go ahead and change the settings if you need to for <clears throat> the currency um, or the keyboard layout or anything, any of those other settings. But go ahead and click next after you've changed it. And then you can give it a name. I'm just going to call it test. Um, now it wants the product key. So if you'll actually press control command on your keyboard, go back to Safari. And then go back to winworldpc.com, go to library, and click on Windows 2000. You can scroll down a little, and there's a, a product key that will work that you can use. So we're going to go ahead and type that in here. And then go ahead and click next. And you can put as many as you want. You can put, you know, 9,999 if you really want to and click next and it'll work. And then here you can give it a computer name. I'm going to call it Win2000 
2000 server and then it wants a password. I'm just going to make it password1 with a capital P. So I'm going to click next. Here I like to go ahead and select everything. You can choose whether or not you want to. Um, you may not need everything, but it doesn't really take up a lot of room anymore. It, back in the day it did, but it doesn't nowadays. Our drives are so large. And then just click next when you're finished. You can choose the date, the time, and your time zone. And then after you've done that, just click next. On this screen, the only option it gives you is the remote administration mode. So just go ahead and click next. Here, I'm going to do a custom setting and click next. And I'm going to choose the TCP IP and I'm going to give it a static IP address. When you get finished, go ahead and click OK and click Next. And then um, I'm going to leave this um, not on a network, but it's on a network without a domain. And I'm just going to call it Work Group. If you actually do connect it to a domain, you would want to make that a member of that domain. And then you would need to give it a username and password for that domain so that you would be able to connect. Here we're going to go ahead and click next. Great, now it's finished installing Windows 2000 server, so we're going to go ahead and click finish. And I'm going to go ahead and do control command on the keyboard, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to disconnect the CD drive. Here we're going to do control alt delete on your keyboard and we're going to put in the password that you created. And that is how you install Windows 2000 server in a VMware virtual machine. Thanks so much. Hope you have a great day. Bye.